Hello folks, Sam from the farm again. Uh, you know, I talk about it all the time. If you have an animal that's died, you gotta go figure out what's wrong. Why did it die? That tells you a lot of what's going on, on in your collection. Maybe there's uh, a connection to, to why the animals die and what happens. And, you, and really, most of the information that I've ever gained is from necropsies, from, from dissecting the animals, seeing what they go, what, why they died, sending out my lab samples, and understanding, again, why they died. So just a quick example, let's take a look at these two animals that we had just recently die. This was a little um, um, baker eye iguana. And so this little girl just kind of suddenly died. It was around laying season, and uh, you know I suspected that something went wrong with her eggs. And we can see right here that there are eggs forming here and then I see follicles, right here are the follicles, and then these other eggs are, are fully grown. So to me, this looks like, you know, she had something wrong with these follicles, maybe not coming down, maybe that overduck is twisted and the eggs can't continue. It looks like this egg started to go bad and she probably died of infection. The eggs that are on this side appear fine. There's two overducks, but there's a duck on each side which holds the eggs. So, at least I know why she died. Has nothing to do with the care. Has something to do with this particular animal. This particular animal, unfortunately had, you can see, had a really deformed spine. She really drifted from one side to the other. Uh, so I, I picked her up from a friend of mine, but I, somehow I, I just think there might've been a connection to that deformity, that spinal deformity, and uh, the overduct uh, restriction, but I'm not sure. Now on the other side, this is an iguana that we were trying to nurse back and it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We were trying to nurse back to health. We didn't know what was going wrong. I suspected it was actually a, um, uh, a GI blockage. But if you check out the GI track, there's nothing wrong in the GI track of this animal, right? There's the stool, this animal was pooping a little bit, but not quite right. So. We were going to do an exploratory surgery, get in there and see what was going on with her. But unfortunately, she died before we got to it. Now, if you don't recognize this, a lot of people won't on such an animal that was this side. This animal was huge. It had a big belly. This is the bladder. And inside this bladder are bladder stones. Feels just like rocks. Now, the stones don't come from a diet. The stones are formed chemically because of the chemistry that's inside the bladder. And what ha happens is they form crystals and then they become a blockage and then she can't pee or the animal can't, can't urinate. So that, again, that happens with uh, the chemistry, the diet typically, but some individuals are just predisposed to it. And I think that's the case here because she had a lot of other cage, mate, cage mates uh, from the same hatching and none of those animals had this problem. They all have the same diet. Uh, it's a diet we've been feeding for a long time. I just think that particular animal was predisposed to having um, uh, uh, deposits, stones, calcium deposits in her bladder, and that's what that's what she died from. So again, that's another episode, if you will, uh, life on the farm and taking the time to figure out what's wrong with those animals and why are they dying. It's all very important. I hope you like that video, folks. Take care.